Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia and I'm obsessed with stickers and planning, so if you are too, you're in the right place. My channel is full of plan with me's, sticker hauls, and other planning videos. All of my videos have timestamps in the description so you can skip around to different sections and to different shops in my hauls. And if this is your 20th time listening to this intro, you can go ahead and skip this too. All my social media links, including Instagram, are in the description as well as all the supplies I use and notes about each video. The planner I'm currently using is my standard size vertical planner, which I use for decorative memory planning. I also just want to add a couple quick notes about me since I don't always remember to go into detail in my videos and for new viewers it can be confusing. So when I mention work, I'm referring mostly to my bookkeeping position at a grocery store. And when I mention Anastasia, or Anna for short, she is my pet ball python. So let's go ahead and get started with this video, and I hope you enjoy! Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a plan with me for last year, the week of September 7th through the 13th, one week before my birthday. Super exciting. Um, this was the week that I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame and the sequel for the first time, so what better kit to use than this kit from Keytown. I don't even think I know of any other Hunchback of Notre Dame kits except for the like Esmeralda kit from BNR Paper Crafts. I think that might be the only one. Let me know if you know of any others, but yeah, I mean this art really pretty much covers it. These are the characters right here. Unfortunately, I was only able to get this in a mini kit, so that's what I have to work with. It's not a lot, so I'm going to pull in some extra stuff, and unfortunately, I guess the glitter headers are in premium matte instead of glossy like the kit. I just realized that, so oopsie, but it'll be fine. Um, so I'm pulling in these date covers from Simply Mess. I didn't have a ton of uh, variety in my selection of um, date cover leftovers, so I kind of had to go with this orange based on this orange, and that's really it, so hopefully it looks alright. Um, not going to be doing a ton of foil, actually I'm not really doing any foil at all except for the bougie, but for that I decided to go all out and grab my um, tape of Rose Color Day's confetti in two foils. Looks like we have Pink Hollow and Sparkly Hollow here. I have not used this tape yet, so I decided why not just go all out because this is a very busy and intense bougie box tape and I don't think I would want to mix that with too much other foil. So why not just have that be the only foil in the kit, right? So that's what we're going to do. Um, also, this was a week that my friend Aiden came down and we watched a couple movies um, so I'm going to be marking stuff related to that, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to put down the base layout and then meet you on the other side for the day by day. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the day by day. So starting off on Monday, I am marking work. I believe that I worked as a bookkeeper all days this week, I'm pretty sure. So I'm marking Monday's work with a munchkin from Once More Thub, as per usual. And I also had a mocha that day. I had mochas pretty much every day, I think, but as usual, I only mark it when I have room to do so. Um, I am bringing in a newer sticker from Paper Shire in the new smaller format that she's doing. Really love how well that fits. And the script for that is my own. 
and I'm working reading as well. That is my script, although it was back when I printed it on inkjet instead of laser, so the quality isn't super great, but I'm gonna have to go through that whole sheet before I can reprint them just to get my money's worth. Um, and that is a newer reading sticker from Fox and Cactus. I'm pulling in a lot of newer stickers this week, which is super exciting. Um, I actually don't even know if that haul has gone up yet. I don't think it has. Um, but yeah, the book I was reading was The Lost Symbol, the third book in the Robert Langdon series. And I also sang along to some music that day when I got home from work, had a little jam out session, and that is an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. It was a really hot day, as I found out when I was walking home from work. Um, and so I'm using a little munchkin from Once More With Love in a freezer, or I guess a fridge, whichever, um, just to mark how hot it was, which is so funny because I always say, like, since I don't have AC, like, the best way to keep cool would just be to hang out in the fridge for a little bit, and I wish I could. <laughs> but, um... It actually hasn't gotten that hot this year, thankfully, so far. Anyways, I also texted my best friend Sage, and that texting emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. as well. And then I answered some comments and messages in regards to my videos. I don't remember where that laptop is from. Just a leftover from somewhere. And then I also made a smoothie. So there is a smaller smoothie munchkin from Once More With Love. And I brought out the like purple looking smoothie because it matched the kit a little better than I thought it would match other kits. So there's that. And then I'm using two third boxes in the lower section. I think it's my first time ever pulling in two third boxes. Um, but the first one is to mark that it was a bit of an emotional day. For some reason, I always use the sticker from Paper Shire to mark that because it just it looks like she's being all dramatic. And I'm like, yeah, that fits. So that's that. Um, and then I did some unemployment stuff, partial unemployment stuff, had to certify the last two weeks that I worked, and there's an emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. on the laptop for that, and used the purple one because it fit the kit, and then I also made a chocolate rush in that evening, and that drink sticker is from Hazel Sticker. Even though it's not meant to be a chocolate Russian, it looks kind of similar. And on Tuesday... Tuesday was a big day because it was both my grandma Alice and my best friend Alex's birthdays. So usually I kind of like put them both into one half box, but I decided that I had the room to give them both their own half box and I need to use up more of my birthday stickers. So um, the first one goes to Alex and that is a little egg sticker from Hazel Sticker for that. And then I also had work as well that day. And the work script is from Something a Mess. And the, um, the bat with the calculator is from Speed Up His Paper. I was also really happy that day. So I'm using my own script for that. And then a girl from Paper Shire. So the next half box that you will see is, of course, to mark my grandma's birthday. And I'm using a girl from Shine Sticker Studio holding balloons for that. I really do have so many birthday stickers I need to use because I don't mark like that many birthdays and they just keep building up. Um, and that happy birthday script is I think from Letters to Apollo. So it was also really chilly. That script and the next script for texting friends are both my own. And here's another new sticker that is a girl from... Beniva Creations to mark that, to mark being chilly, and then the phone from Bubba Bear Studios is to mark texting my friends, and I'm just going to wait a few seconds for me to get caught up. So later in that day... Obviously, I'm marking that I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame with the movie marquee and one of the newer stickers from Once More With Love. I'm glad that she like came out with those so recently because otherwise, I don't think I would have had any to mark that movie. So that was well-timed. Also, I had some Starbucks that day as well. I think it was a 
pumpkin cream cold brew type situation. I had to try it out because it was like being advertised at my store and it was not that good. Like it did not live up to the hype I thought, which is fine because that's, you know, one less thing for me to have to buy on occasion. But I'm working that with a drink from Pumpkin Paper Co. And I also caught up on some memes that day as well on my phone. And that character on the phone is from, I think, Bubble Monsters Co. So going into Wednesday, I marked work again. And that girl is from Whimsical Cat Studio. And I was really tired that morning. That script is mine. And then that's a munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. And then for reading, I actually read while I was at home instead of at work for once. Um, so I'm using the sticker from Happy Day that I don't think I've even ever used before. So that's super exciting. Getting to bring that out for the first time. But yeah, I save those type of stickers just like reading on a couch or in a bed to mark when I do reading at home. Um, and the book that I read was Diary of a Wimpy Kid 3. Do I even... I guess I... No, I think I actually got that book from my library on my Kindle. Um, because I don't think I have that book here. I was just, like, randomly craving that particular book series. So I must have just, like, gotten it from the library. Alright, so I called my mom that day as well. And that is a printable sticker from Papershire that is, like, perfect for that because the phone says mom calling. So I pretty much only use that to mark when I call my mom. And then I also had a nap that day as well. There is a newer sticker from Medieval Creations to mark cat nap. That was from the freebie, I think. And the script is from Ice Cream Joe. And then I'm marking laundry with a sticker that I haven't used before from Wonton in a Million. I love using little laundry lines in a half box. And then I fit a laundry script underneath that. I think that's my also first time using that script from Letters to Apollo. Um... And then I sang along to some more music. That is an older sticker from uh, the Coffee Monsters Code and Mark That. I think I got that like as a gift or in a D stash or something because I was not around at the very beginning when the stickers were released. Um, and then I got a package from Amazon. And that box I think is from Simply a Mess, possibly from a sampler. Um, and then I watched Hunchback 2. And there's an Esmeralda sticker from the same hunchback sheet as on Tuesday. I liked the sequel, but it wasn't as good as the first one, as usual, with Disney movies. Um, going into Thursday, I watched Parks and Rec. I think it's my first time wrecking that that week, but yeah, I was still binging that series. And I'm pulling in some Kirsten stickers this day as well, because I got those in my most recent rack bag from my SPC order um so that's her on the couch like watching tv um I worked again as a bookkeeper but I think this was closing because I marked it after like watching tv um and that script is from simply a mess for work and then reading another Kirsten sticker for that and the read script is from Valerie's Papery and we had a virtual meeting at work for bookkeepers and I'm just using this, like, Zoom conference on the laptop sticker for that. Because, like, I'm not going to use that for anything else. Because I don't even have Zoom, actually. <laughs> I forget where that script is from, but it was from a sampler from somewhere. I don't think I have any other, like, meeting scripts. But I should make some for myself because we are doing meetings weekly at work now. Um, marking texting Sage again. That phone is from the little paper, I think. The littlest, the littlest planner. I can never say that right the first time. Whatever shop that is. And then washed my hair. That little like shampoo bottles from Whimsical Cat Studio. And got groceries as well. Wow, oh, I marked these like way out of order. But yeah, I guess when I was at work, I picked up some groceries. So the money from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then um, caught up on some memes that girls from Happy Day. And then passed out early. Yeah, definitely out of order. <laughs> Um, but that dog taking a nap is from Speed Davis Paper. So Friday, 
I slept in many hours that day because I passed out earlier the night before and when I do that usually I sleep like 12 to 14 hours so slept in very much that day um that script is mine and then there's a little bunny from some little things to mark that I need to make that script smaller because I'm forced to use only smaller stickers with that due to the size of the script but again that was like the first run so it's a learning process I do like the font that I use though I'm very pleased with that um and then marking more parks and rec with another little from some little things actually I don't think that's little I think that's one of the hamster characters I think that one is cinnamon the girl anyways I also facetimed sage and that little phone of us is from Whimsical Cat Studio. And then I marked filming. I just decided to bring in this script that I have. I don't really like using those because I like to mark like what I filmed. But um, I just wanted to finish that up because that was the last one that I had. And I think it was filming a haul part. So I also ordered some more stickers that day. Don't remember what they were again, but <laughs> place the order. Um, and then I just used the little Etsy icon just to use that up. And then I had white Russians. So previously I had marked chocolate Russians for a while, but I guess I ran out of chocolate milk. And so picked up just normal milk this time and started drinking white Russians. I usually just alternate between the two. Um, except around Christmas time when I will get eggnog and make them with that. But yeah, that sticker is from Papershire to mark that. And then um, I had donuts, or I had a donut. And then I watched the portrait of Dorian Gray. I think it's portrait and not picture. I don't know. Picture? Of Dorian Gray. You, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I love that movie. It's like so dark and creepy. Totally my vibe. So I'm using an appropriate sticker of Pandaru from Happy Day to mark that, who's like kind of apprehensively watching the TV. Because yeah, those are the vibes that that movie gives you. Um, and yeah, the donut sticker is from Papershire. And then Anastasia did not want to eat that day probably because I fed her on Friday instead of Wednesday, probably because I forgot on Wednesday, <laughs> but, um, yeah, she was not feeling it that day, and that snake sticker is from Joy of Planning, I really love those, they're so cute, all right, going into Saturday, Saturday was a fun day because Aiden came down to visit, and, um, I'm using the custom stickers of both of us from the Whimsical Cat Studio character creator, for that and also to mark us getting iced coffee that's us like holding little starbucks drinks even though usually we get it from like any other place other than starbucks trying to test out the local coffee joints um and then we so i had to mark things out of order because i changed what um boxes i was using based on the size of the stickers so originally i was going to mark walking on west cliff next but i was using a really big sticker for that so i put that in the half box later so, um, after we walked West Cliff, we walked along the boardwalk. So I'm using this, like, amusement park sticker from the Lilith's Planner, I think, is where that is from, to mark that. Um, and then marking sandwiches with a sandwich from Benima Creations. Had to do some layering with the script here, and I hate doing that, but oh well. And yeah, there I'm marking walking on West Cliff with a girl from Papershire. And yeah, those girls are really enormous. So like pretty much you have to use them with a half box unless you're going to cut them. Um, and then while we were at the boardwalk, we got funnel cake. I didn't have any funnel cake stickers, which really saddens me because <laughs> I love funnel cake. But I did have these like random cake stickers from Sugar Box stickers. And I just decided to bring one in because I pretty much never mark cake because I don't really like cake. But... I decided to use them for funnel cake, because that is a cake that I do like. So I'm marking white Russians with a glass from Hazel Sticker that I got specifically for the purpose of marking those. Um, and then marking board games with me and Aiden. Um, we played Moncala, which is like one of my favorites. Parcheesi and Moncala are my two favorite board games. So I taught him Moncala, and we played that for a little bit. That sticker is from Whimsical Cat Studio. And then we watched the movie Get Smart. Forgot to pull out any stickers for this, so unfortunately there aren't any, but that's okay. Because the one that I would have used of us watching a movie is like really big, and it wouldn't have fit. I don't think. But anyways, that's what we watched first. We usually watch two movies. 
Um, and then we watched Friday the 13th later, so I'm pulling in that movie marquee from Keytown. Um, and then after he left, I watched Parks and Rec that evening. That TV is from the Lowell's Planner. And then I think early in the morning before he came down, I had a mocha. Um, and I just for some reason marked that last. So I got to use this newer like coffee sticker from Paper K though, and that's really cute. So I'm glad I got to pull that in, and the script is mine. And the Parks and Rec script is from Simply a Mess. So Sunday, I'm using my own work script um, to mark bookkeeping that morning. That um, dog sticker is from Sweet Eva's Paper again. And then I had a mocha that morning as well, my own script, and a new coffee sticker from Medium Creations. Again, I used so many new stickers this week. It's so exciting. Um, and then we had a new coworker come in f to our department. Um, so I was training her that day. Her name is Sayla. And I used stickers that look kind of like us from Um School Cast Studio. And I was super tired because I only had like five hours of sleep that night because we had stayed up so late the night previously. So I'm using this Tired AF script from Letters to Apollo and then the cat from Fox and Cactus. Got groceries before leaving work. That girl is from Whimsical Cat Studio. And then more Parks and Rec. That TV is from Hey Soul Sticker. And then Anastasia Shed that day. That is a sticker from Once More with Love. From her like wildlife sampler sheet. Those stickers I got from Sage. So thank you so much. And then I pass out early, obviously, because I was so tired. And that girl is from Shine Sticker Studio. So that is it for that week. Um, I am impressed at what I managed to do with only a mini kit, but at the same time, I'm like, this did not turn out the best. So, I'm glad I have stopped buying mini kits. Like, I don't think I've bought any previously, if I could help it. Like, some kits come already with, like, only four pages or something. Like, the foiled kits that I get, they already only come very small. So, those I'm gonna have to pull in some more stuff for, but, like... Given the choice between like a mini kit and an ultimate kit or a full kit with other shops, I have pretty much always gotten the ultimate kits ever since, so hopefully I won't have to go through this again because it was kind of rough trying to make everything fit together and yeah, I'm not super impressed, but at the same time it, like, it doesn't look terrible. It's just not like the quality that I am used to from some of my previous spreads. But that's okay, and the bougie boxes look pretty cute with this kit, so ultimately, it is not that bad. But yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be wonderful, and I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!